How do you see a painting when you can't see the painting? Is there only one way to experience art or can it be appreciated and enjoyed in different ways and with different senses? Art in any form is a shared experience. How can it be shared with most people possible? Can a disability limit an artist's imagination? Does an art flourish in the imagination that can never be disabled? The answers to these questions were at the heart of this year's edition of Art for Hope, which featured 10 differently abled artists, amongst others, as part of the Ability for Dignity program, bringing out different perspectives through the artworks of artists with disabilities, but with one message, that of inclusion. Initiative in 2021, the Art for Hope is more than just an exhibition. It is a movement that harnesses the power of art to inspire hope, foster empathy, and provoke positive change in the world we live in. This year, we are especially pleased to include 10 incredibly talented and differently able artists. Their participation is our deep commitment to an inclusive society where art connects us, not divides us. Gauruk Biswas, who lives with Down syndrome, set the tone for Art for Hope's third edition by bringing attention to inclusion through his dance, captivating the hearts of audiences. But accessible art isn't just what artists create, it is also how that art is experienced. This exhibition featured tactile art experienced through touch, QR codes that open up information in ISL for those who can't hear, Braille texts that explain the art for those who can't see, a space that is entirely accessible and which interacts with different disabilities in different ways. When you design something in a universal way, when you create something in an accessible format, you are going to make sure that it reaches out to a wider group of audience. When you create something in sign language or when you create something in tactile or braille, it is not only for that one group of audience, but it's a ripple effect because it brings everyone together. Ritika Gupta, who identifies as an illustrator and artist on the autism spectrum, is watching a short film about Rupak Manji, another artist who is non-verbal and autistic. Ritika herself is a recipient of the program's grant and her artwork is being showcased alongside Rupak Manji's. I am telling people how I see and perceive world. So for the first time, the fear of how uh, people are perceiving me but how I am telling them that how I am perceiving the world, I am perceiving you and uh, please try to understand my way of communicating, my, way, my perception of things. Ritika's art gives a glimpse into how daily chores can be overwhelming for a person who is on the autistic spectrum. Her voice and the voices of artists who have disabilities showing that the world has immense diversity but how critical it is to embrace and include all of it. 